I want to show you a little bit about this cutting practice that you should have picked up um, if you're able to. If not, we'll have this online as well so you could download it. Um, it'll come with a big orange sheet to tell you that it's for cutting. And this is how you'll present it to the kids. Basically, they're going to get worksheets that look like this. So parents, what I want you to do is cut off the top part. And there's some really nice instructions here that say two parents. So just follow those and you should be good. But let me just give you an example of what that would look like. So cut this part off here. And this is what the kids get. When you give them this, they just follow the instructions. This one says to cut all of the thick gray lines. So that's what I'm gonna do. Cutting all the thick gray lines. Some of the cutting things that we like to share with kids is to keep your elbow in. You always start with your thumb up. I'm not very particular if kids can put two fingers into the big hole or if they have one finger in and then their pointer finger rests on the side. Either way, whatever is most functional for them so that they can open and close the scissors is fine. Um, but do have their elbow in and definitely make sure that they're cutting with their thumb up. And parents, if you are helping your children, um, try to help them from behind so that they're holding the paper and holding the scissors at the same time. Because a lot of times I see what happens is that parent helpers or any helper will come in and kind of hold the paper over here and then the kid is cutting in this direction. It just doesn't really um, function that well to like help teach them cutting. So try to facilitate so that the kids are holding the paper and the scissors. It usually helps if you hold from behind. So this is just one example. I'm cutting on the gray lines, turning the paper. A lot of times my kiddos will keep turning and 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 that's not wrong. Just sometimes it helps if they have the um, prompt to stop and turn the paper. And that's just exactly what I'll say. Okay, stop and turn, just like that, nice and easy. Stop and turn and stop and turn. The reason why I like these worksheets is because when you complete them, they're all a little bit of fun. So this one is supposed to be a wiggly octopus. So once they cut all on those lines, then they have a nice wiggly octopus. Okay, I hope you have fun.